Hey YouTube, my name's Aldana. Um, this is gonna be my first video on this channel. I just decided to do a um, my band slash concert merch slash musician merch tour because I have accumulated quite an amount of t-shirts over the year, specifically band and musician slash artist t-shirts. So I'm really excited to share with you what I have. Uh, I figured this would be a good kind of like icebreaker video because I've been really intimidated to make a video for the longest time. I haven't seen that many just band shirt collection videos. I've seen a lot of like vintage or um, you know like thrifted t-shirt or like oversized t-shirt collection videos so I figured this is a really simple one that I can make. Y'all can get to know me, pick if you want to stay or not. So let's get into it. The first one I have here is this Fleetwood Mac Rumors shirt. I remember being pretty upset that um, I bought this because, I mean, it's cute. You know, I love this shirt. Wish I got it a little bit bigger, but it's okay. Hang on, I'm gonna go let out the cut. Yeah, and then a couple weeks after I bought it, I saw it at Hot Topic and I was like, bruh, I searched everywhere to find a shirt like this. I swear it just stocked right after I bought this and I paid for shipping and everything too because I'm pretty sure it came from the UK. This one's the Arctic Monkeys Tranquility Base Hotel and Casino shirt. I bought this after I saw them in 2018, 2018. Nice and simple, you know, easy wear. This one I actually just bought at, I guess your my local thrift. I don't know if you live in Toronto, it's the black market. And it's just this Harvest Neil Young shirt. I love this maroon kind of look and the yellow. I used to wear this all the time. Just now I prefer shirts that are a bit more oversized. So this is a little like too fitted for my liking now, but I don't know, I can't give it up. I love this shirt. Maybe one day I'll, maybe I'll crop it and I'll start wearing it again, who knows. And now I'm starting to get into a little more like vintage stuff. A lot of these are hand-me-down shirts from my dad. Um, that he got from these actual shows back in the 80s and 90s. So this one, I love this shirt. This is an Alton John shirt from, I think it says 19, 1989 to 1990. And it has an awesome like design on the back. I believe that's, yeah, that's all the cities that this tour was on. But yeah, it's amazing from the actual show. It's really worn out, but the next couple shirts I'm going to show are, and they have a bit of like yellow, um, like it got a little yellowed, I guess it's sweat stains, that's what happens, but this one's a Grateful Dead one, I actually almost never wear this, but I love it, it's really worn in, kind of distressed, probably not on purpose, but it's really nice. I would die to see the Grateful Dead. It says 1987 on it, so that could be when he got this shirt, or that could just be like when the when the person designed the shirt, but either way, it's really nice. Maybe I will start wearing this. This one's one of my personal ones um, that I got from an actual show. It's a City in Color shirt. It has a nice design on the back. It's from uh, 2017. I've kind of strayed away from just wearing graphic shirts like for a while now, but I remember when I used to wear a lot of just graphic shirts and jeans and that was like my whole wardrobe. I loved this shirt. It's a Sound and Vision David Bowie tour from 1990. And on the back, it's Bowie facing the other way. This is a Roger Waters Us and Them tour shirt. This show was really, really good. Like we were on the floor. This is from 2017. Um, Yeah, this is the back. That's all the cities. Really good show. This is a shirt. Um, I don't really wear it that much because it's like a three-quarter sleeve. You'll see. It's a Neil Young Crazy Horse shirt. It's amazing. Um, it's a North American tour shirt. Once again, pretty distressed, but like I mentioned, all the shirts that are hand-me-downs from my dad are. I'm not a huge fan of the like these sleeves, but I think for the next part of the video, I'll actually try to include this shirt, so in case anyone else is struggling to style a three-quarter sleeve kind of thing, we'll see. 
Oh, okay, this is another Grateful Dead shirt. It's really oversized. Like, I wear this as a t-shirt dress. It's the American Beauty album on the front, which is my favorite album by them. So good. And on the back, it's really nice. I don't know if this one's from a concert, actually. It might just be, like, the merchandise that you buy outside the venue. It kind of looks like one of those, but it could be authentic. I don't know. Very old, once again. This is another Grateful Dead one. This one's probably my favorite out of the three so far. I love this shirt. This looks like one of those distressed shirts that you would buy. It has a little bit of a rip um, on the sleeve, but it has a really, really nice design. And it says 25 Grateful Dead on the back. I'm assuming that this is for their like 25 years tour. This one is more of a tank top. It's kind of actually like a baby tank top. Like it's really cute. Um, it's a Roger Waters shirt, once again. It doesn't say the date or anything on it. It has a little stain, but you know, that's okay. It just says North American tour on the back. This is a modern baseball shirt. Um, I bought this in like 2015 for a pretty sure hot topic. I used to love modern baseball. Yeah, it's just simple. Has that little dog with the glasses on. Nothing on the back, but it's really cute. I've worn this to emo night. It's a nice kind of oversized layering shirt. Awesome. As I mentioned, I'm from Toronto and always is a Toronto band. Fun fact, I was first person in line in December to see this show. This was in 2018 and I literally lined up like three hours before and I waited there in the line like an hour by myself before anyone else came, so. This one I bought in Ireland at a vintage store there. I don't think this is a vintage shirt. This just looks like something that they probably like screen printed and that their store owns. It was expensive. Like I never realized how much this was until I came back and realized how much money 25 pounds is. That's a lot of money for like a normal t-shirt, but it's okay. There's some memories attached to it. It's um, David Bowie's Ziggy Stardust shirt. You know, just nice and simple. It's not my favorite album by him, but it's really close and it's just a really nice shirt. How do you not love this shirt? How do you not love this album, you know? This one is from probably one of my favorite concerts I've been to of all time. Um, from one of my favorite bands of all time. I saw Fleetwood Mac. I got this at their 2018 tour. Amazing. On the back, just says Fleetwood Mac, all the cities they went to, 2018, 19. When I went to this show, I wore this shirt all the time, like right after the show. Like this looks like something I would buy even if I didn't go to the show. Um, this one is kind of funny. Uh, I gave away a lot of band t-shirts like um, a couple years ago. Not really gave away, but like I just donated them because I didn't wear them. And you know, I thought my emo phase was done, but I thought wrong. So this is a Pierce the Veil shirt. My boyfriend actually gave this to me uh, because we go to emo night every Friday night. Uh, and since unfortunately I donated all of my emo shirts, like emo band shirts, I was kind of lacking in the like what to wear department to emo night, you know? But I actually love this shirt, Pierce the Veil. I love Pierce the Veil, bro. Emo's not dead. Roaring 20s, bro, like. <laughs> This one is not really a, um, it's not, I didn't really get it from a concert, but it is, I guess, official musician merch, you know? Little hint of who it is. It's a Tyler the Creator, a boy is a gun shirt. I didn't buy this at the concert since, first of all, I don't think they were selling this at the actual show, but I actually ordered this from the Golf LaFleur website, like a little bit after the Igor album came out and they released a bunch of merch. Like it's a really good material, like it's really thick. It'll last me a long time. And you know, it's a licensed golf shirt. This was kind of pricey, but then again, most of these shirts, if you get them after a concert, they're gonna be pricey anyways. So I have the last two here. Uh, this one I got for Christmas a couple years ago. I almost never wear it. The Beatles are one of my favorite bands of all time. Don't get me wrong, but I don't know. It's just not really something that's my style anymore. Uh, yeah, pretty simple. I believe it's from Hot Topic.
This one is from a band that I'm not sure if a lot of people will recognize, but this is a group that I've loved for years. I've seen them three times in concert. I absolutely adore this band, and this is just a really simple, minimalistic, basically just a plain white t-shirt, but the band is called Wet, so it just says Wet on there. Real nice. Um, I've had this for years, I wear it all the time. Really nice layering piece too, you know, it's just a plain white shirt. What can't you do? This one's not exactly a shirt, but one of the three times that I saw wet, I actually bought a hat from them. So that's, that's their like newer logo, because that was from their first album. This one's from their second album. I just put a little pin in a patch on the side. A couple years ago, I also saw Troy Sivan. I didn't get a shirt, but I got another hat. I am not really into baseball caps anymore. Maybe if I grow out my bangs, I'll start wearing them again. But for now, it just, you know, flattens your bangs. But it says Troy Sivan on the back. Still a cute hat nonetheless. I probably won't sell it or give it away because it's a little sentimental. And I believe that's it. I wouldn't be surprised if in a couple weeks I, I don't know, I start reorganizing my closet and I find some shirt in there and I'm like, oh man, I forgot to mention that. There's, you know, I always have some that get lost over the years or I just gave away. Like I got a Billie Eilish t-shirt when I saw her in 2017. I gave that to a friend as a gift. I, I got a Childish Gambino shirt, a really, really nice shirt. Um, that I gave to a friend that was like a much bigger fan than I was so uh, I guess this is it for now maybe in a couple years I can make an updated video because I do plan on going to a lot more concerts in the future I'm actually seeing my chemical romance in September so I'm really excited about that and I am definitely planning on getting merch from that show thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed and I hope you will like and subscribe and comment if you even want to see more. I already have a bunch of video ideas. I'm actually just waiting for a couple things in the mail before I can make them. Um, I guess two of my next videos are going to be Depop bundle unboxing videos because I ordered two Depop style bundles. At some point on this channel, I do want to do like a, uh, a kind of get to know me thing because I am kind of just randomly peering into the YouTube space and y'all don't know anything about me or like why I decided to just come and make a channel, you know? I hope you enjoyed this and I hope to see you again. Bye.